everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the top eight of the Alpha Flight Club Qualifier. Super excited to be here. Thank you for watching now and later. Want to remind you that we stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday here on twitch.tv slash Gold Squadron Podcast. Thank you to everybody who joins us for our giveaways and good times. I'm joined by my co-host, William the Beard Haywood. What up? Pop, pop. That's right. I'm going to do my best <laughs> magnitude impression. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> now, a as I open up the Choose Your Champion polls, we'll go ahead and break down this matchup. No problem. So, uh, we have Marcel Manzano, from, uh, GSP own uh, podcast host. Uh, he is flying, well, he flew in uh, both the... Uh, Coruscant, and I think a tournament before that, the qualifier as well. Um, that's four Procket A-Wings. Oh, technically three Prockets. Uh, because Merle, uh, the first A-Wing here, uh, has just Intimidation and Automated Targeting Priority. Uh, an amazing blocker there. And then he's got three I-5 uh, RZ-2 A-Wings. All of them have the identical loadouts. Heroic, Marksmanship, Proton Rocket, and Advanced Optics. Um, those three he's chosen are Zizi, Tali, and Sefton. So Marcel taking advantage of the new Heralds of Hope expansion that include both Sefton and Merle, um, but also dealing with the increased price recently in Heroic and Optics, squeezing out uh, basically dropping the fifth A-Wing for a set of three Prockets in there. Uh, and I mean, also, if you, if you get those Prockets in, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I believe, I don't know what the total is, but I believe it's a deep bid, a uh, double-digit bid on the list as well. All right, here we go. Oh, we got shots already. That's right. Django got aggressive here. I mean, you got ZZ out there with no tokens. Marcel playing playing a little loose. Could get caught here with his pants down. Yeah, looks like he's going to Dooku a crit. Two. And does. Oh, uh, wow. Half points. Half points. Wow. A focus wouldn't have saved you. But not having tokens on ZZ early feels kind of bad. Yeah. Uh, well, he's good to return shot here with the focus for his advanced optics. There it is. Focus for two. And going to be able to... Is that yeah, a lone wolf? got lone wolf. I even got to that list. So I don't know what he's got on the Zam. Looks like a lone wolf reroll here, but doesn't get it. All right, so one shield. That's that's not a good trade for Marcel, though. Uh, no. I'm going <laughs> to double check here. Uh, yeah, ZZ just looked for a lock. Didn't, didn't feel like doing much there. Uh, just checking range. Well, uh, okay. Let's break down this Django here uh, so we know what uh, we got. This is Sasha Wagner playing Separatist uh, with Django Fett and Zam Wessel. Django has Lone Wolf, Jamming Beam, Counter Dooku, Thermal Detonators, False Transponder Codes, and ooh, what is this? A Hull Upgrade? <laughs> oh no. Uh, puts them to a weird 11 health. Uh, we'll have to watch out for that. Uh, with him, Zam's got uh, Jamie Beam, Chancellor Palpatine, Thermal Detonators, and False Transponder Codes. So, really leaning into the Force crew that are so good uh, with this. And uh, taking advantage of the new upgrades, that's Thermal Detonators and False Transponder Codes uh, to get a lot of bombs and some, some jamming here. Because both of them, uh, well... Sam Wessel's ability allows two cards, and we're going to be talking about the cards all game, about which card has been 
put uh, hidden in each system phase. Uh, one of them uh, normally, well, they both can double shoot. Um, one is you can double shoot when you're in somebody's arc, but they never shot at you. Mm -hmm. Or when you are shot at. And that's really the duality between those two cards is whether you're uh, planning to be shot or not planning to be shot and what kind of effect uh, you want to use. Uh, for some reason, now, Sam uh, loses charges uh, because he normally starts with just two. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we need to uh, – I, I just want to point out is some people might be – Confused why, why didn't Marcel take a token? He took a target lock on the rock early on uh, because of the false transponder codes is uh, it was his thought. He probably didn't think that Django was going to get in range. He was trying to set up a lock so that, you know, if uh, the, the false transponders get set up, he has uh, something that could be jammed off and being able to keep that token around later on when he shoots. Yeah, but wouldn't, uh, I guess in Zam's case, yeah, if Zam took the target lock action. Mm -hmm. um, it's tricky. We'll see. Uh, most of the time, uh, Zam just likes it because one of the, the conditions is if she's shot, she gets a lock. Yep. So if you get shot out, you can jam that person uh, as well. Uh, yeah, we'll see here. Let's, uh, Marcel did his classic start here. He uh, bumped. Uh, bumped Merle and started ZZ and Tally on opposite sides. All right, looks like they're here. System phase. It's gonna pick the condition. Yes, set, set his right trap in. card. Yep, set up the hidden box over there, off just off screen. That's right. He's been looking at the cards. I prefer it that way, but there's um, a lot of options you can do for it. Morrow coming in aggressive. It looks like Django is the main target. He is the more expensive of the fire sprays at 104 points. But uh, you can't you can't ignore Zam for too long though. She is also very good. We're yep, getting the boost. That screw, so just coming in for the shots. It's With a block only two attempt. shots, they're, they're going to be thankful for every damage they do to these A wings. Five straight. Interesting. So, f feeling pretty convinced that Django's going to be going straight. It looks like both those A-wings covering the uh, the center lane and the outside. Though ZZ's got to watch out. If uh, if Django does turn to the inside, he'll, he's going to be uh, probably shot at range one out the back. Too hard. Yeah, we can see ZZ die uh, with just the evade token there. But it looks like... Is is that in arc already? I think that's what they're slowing down to double check. Uh, they're just talking about it. It, it definitely looks like it's in it's in uh, oh, in the arc. Yeah. We'll find out. So he's going to target lock with false transponder codes, giving a jam, removing the evade. Uh, Sasha is convinced that... Yep. Uh, that is in arc. Wants that shot, and it is. Range one. Uh, we could see ZZ gone here very quickly. Here we go. Here's the roll. Spends a lock on probably the all three of those. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. ZZ, you dead, girl. Gone. Yeah, got to Natty out. Didn't. And... Uh, just gone. Uh, Marcel just caught off guard there. Yep. With the Zam, or the, excuse me, with Django coming in, super aggressive. Um, uh, just calling out, uh, everything ZZ's doing. And it sounds like they're discussing right now, just, uh, you know, listening in on the table. Uh, du Dooku was triggered there for, um, for Marcel's dice. Yeah, because you Dooku the blank, mm -hmm. guaranteeing the kill. Dooku, so good. 
Now, for anybody uh, no. who might might not know, that card we'll go through it here in a minute after uh, after these set of attacks. Here comes Zam, range two in the tally. Got Chancellor available. Yep, and uses it. Two of eights. No for Zuzu. Sefton, no shot. Tally will have an opportunity here to maybe strip some shields. Optics for two. Oh, all right. Lone yeah. Wolf reroll. Mm -hmm. It's going to get one. Wow, this Django just has so many mods. Just barely range two. Does Merle have a procket? No, Merle does not have a proc yet, unfortunately. The only one does. with the bullseye lined up. Hit crit, and looks like it'll be one more shield. Yeah, three shields on Django for ZZ. And let's see uh, what that card was. Let's see if uh, Zam expected to be shot or not. Didn't reveal the card. We don't know. Didn't want to. You're not required to. It says... But, he, but he's not in any arc, though. That's why he didn't reveal it. Yep. And that is true. You don't have to reveal it at the end. It says, at the end of the engagement phase, if this card is face down, uh, XYZ, you may reveal this card. Yep. And it's... it's uh, I'm glad Zam is very good, because it is a fun... Um, Norm, we haven't had the, the best success with condition cards in X-Wing. I think true. it's by far the best use of it. Yeah, it's clearly really good. Getting... And, I, and I, I like, you know, they they made it, you know, the the, the, the pilot Kylo, uh, Kylo Ren has a condition mm -hmm. and the crew one has a condition. And you never see the crew out there. Uh, but Zam is a is an example of having the same ability on both a crew and an upgrade, and you're you're seeing both of them get played. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I think it's worth asking the question: uh, Could these fire sprays lose their crew card like Boba did? Because we're seeing this archetype do really well. Um, maybe AMG will decide to take those out. I mean, essentially, the reason for removing the crew card was anti. It was like, all right, we're, we're taking away Maul. We're taking away rerolls plus the Force. And, uh, and yeah, th that, that is an absolutely v valid question there, Jonah. If, we, if the Force crew on Fire Sprays is considered too much, they could get the same treatment. And now we got some upset fire spray players. The the scum players who became separatist <laughs> players overnight. Uh, yeah, it turns out the fire spray is still pretty good. Doesn't matter. As long as you equip some bombs and uh, some good pilots. And occasionally the force. Does pretty good. But to your point, though, it's not like we've seen any other scum fire spray take Maul and be crazy successful. True. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, so we were talking about uh, the Dooku crew on Django. Uh, unfortunately, we probably won't see much Django play here because Django is looking for people to do difficult maneuvers uh, while he's doing easy ones, essentially. Uh, but these A-Wings are just constantly doing blue maneuvers. His ability will almost never trigger. Mm -hmm. And what does his ability do when it does trigger? Well... Uh, so it says, while well, you defend or perform a primary attack, the difficulty of your revealed maneuver is less than that of the enemy's ships. So you do a blue and they do a white. Uh, you may change one of the enemy ship's eyeball results to a blank result. So both, it is nice that it does work if you're trading shots. So it'll work on attack and defense um, between that ship. Uh, but most of the time, it's like he's, or excuse me, the A-Wings are going to be doing blue maneuvers. So, almost will never trigger. We'll have to keep an eye on it, see if uh, see if we do find it in this game. 
Looks like they're closing in for the kill box here. Uh, the Tally and Merle, or excuse me, Sefton, uh, to need to make up some ground and get those pockets off. Looks like we have a lock and jam on Tally there, preventing the pocket. Oh no. Right. Marcel looking for options here. Yeah, Tally never found her target lock earlier. You can see ZZ's target lock out there. This is that what he was trying to set up so he couldn't be uh, lock jammed or whatever. False transponder coded. Yep. Yeah. Looks like they're talking about the, they're clarifying the jam from the last turn right now. Django, is he going to get blocked? No, denied. No. Denied. De denied. Merrill has a nice range one shot for now. Of course, getting okay. exchange there with uh, with Django. I think, I think Dooku's got a boost because he might actually still be... Or Django. Uh, might, still might be in pocket range there from Sefton. I mean, lose nothing. Lose, well, he, what he does lose by boosting is that beautiful bomb drop next turn. Yeah, he's got to go. Can't eat that rocket. Yeah, there's no no reason to stay there in the no. bullseye. Take eight attack dice. Not a thing. Django, probably range two into Merle, I'm guessing. Nah, focus or are you going to take the unmodified into Sefton? No, I'm focused on Tally here. Oh, uh, Tally, Tally, excuse me. I oh, yeah. Had, yeah. My, had my colors mixed up. Yeah, she's going to get some damage done. Uh, these uh, make, making good use of those false transponder codes, keeping these A-wings honest. All right. No Dooku trigger here. Two hits and a focus. Spend the force for three. One evade, evade half points given up. Oh, this might be a quick game, Marcel. It might be. I mean, uh, Marcel was caught on his heels pretty early here with his double fire sprays. Mm -hmm. Now here's another target lock force shot from Zam. And hit, doesn't hit, even need the mods. Hit, hit, crit. Takes uh, a crit. Evades. It is a face up. Because those shields were down already. Council fire. Uh, that triggers immediately. Uh, That's right. Sasha as the first player. So now Tally engages and dies to the council fire. Still gets an opportunity to shoot, but there's nothing to shoot. So engagement nothing doesn't matter. Shoot. Pop, Stick pop, as someone would say. Yeah, That's already a lot of Fs, a lot of Fs, and a lot of pop pops in the chat for that. <laughs> <laughs> Give those, get those pop pops. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> you know, some sometimes you gotta admit it when your boy, when your boy's down. Sometimes you gotta tell him, <laughs> just stay down, man. Just stay uh, down. <laughs> Able to see, got... squeeze in a shield there. Mm-hmm. Another two dice at Django. Spend the focus for two. Could get half points here. I don't know. He's got a hull upgrade. Are you sure? Uh, doubt. Doubt. Seven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. One of eight, no one points. damage. That's only five. Do we have yeah, another we game it. to go once these last A's go pop up? Haven't refreshed yet. Uh, do we have another game like ready to go? No, we don't have another game ready I'm, to go. I don't know, man. Like so. Do you want me to start no, looking, Dion? No, 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 not yet. No. Not there. No, not, we, not quite we're yet. We're not going to count out uh, uh, Sefton just yet. Um, 
Merle, well, unfortunately here, not getting any blocks on these fire spurs. <laughs> Chris Burnett, 2010, said, Dion, are you conflicted right now? Hate seeing Marcel going out this way, but also probably happy to see the Arzu 2s popping. <laughs> I mean... Emotions are complicated, right? That's what makes life interesting. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's really shown the the strength of these fire spirits to fight these A-wings. Uh, just knowing that, uh, you know, they can't be taken out unless the, the Prockets are fired, mm -hmm. right? So as long as they're safe from the Prockets, they really can't be killed by anything the A-wings do. And knowing that the A-wings... Uh, struggle to double get, or uh, to token stack those false transponder codes uh, was the perfect counter uh, to, to dealing with both ZZ and Tally there. Oh, here we got a set of some thermals. There you go. I mean, you have the A-Wings pursuing you from behind. Makes sense. Yep. yep, we did the jousting now. Now it's time for both of these ships to uh, start shooting rear arc attacks. Now, Zam did miss the opportunity to uh, to use her, her card. They got flipped. I did hear both of them talking about it. And it was agreed that it was missed. And there is Merle hugging that little bomb. Do you fit that boost? Nice. Only gonna get caught by one, I think. Then. That's right. You may catch Django sleeping over there as well. Zam turning out, knowing that those thermal detonators are there, making sure to point that back arc in the area in which most likely Sefton's gonna be uh, quickly yeah. moving into. Let's see if Sefton cuts in for that. Oh, bur bur dual burrow. There it is. Yeah, no procket, but gets out of the bombs and arc for now. All right. Oh, actually, both of them might be in range. Looking at that, mm -hmm. they both are. Them are in. Two dice thermals here. That's a crit, so one shield. Um, Merle's down. Shields already, so panicked pilot. And the first one was Dukud. The first roll was Dukud. Mm, that makes sense. Gone. Another crit. Wow. All right. And that uh, Sefton just gone. Sorry, excuse me, Merle oh, gone. Merle. Just gone. Whew. Look out. Dooku just controlling the game here with those dice changes. Guaranteeing the kills. Well, Zeptoon's got a chance to take a shot here. On Zam. Now for a crit hit eyeball. Probably gonna see a Palpatine yeah no no here. problem. Is this the fastest top eight game ever? No, actually, we, we've had we had a top game a top eight game end in the second turn before. Was hey, a player uh, in second edition, yeah, a player took a big big risk with uh, with boosting a Falcon. Oh. Like they, they they had some like Han Solo shenanigans and uh, and it went off the board. The next turn, and it was dead, and they just conceded. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a rough game, but exciting. You yeah. Know? Sometimes you just gotta burn bright. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had a Palpatine trigger here. He does have an ability other than changing dice. Uh, so that after you defend, if the attacker is at range zero to two. You can spend your force charge. If you do, the attacker gains one stress token. I mean, no big deal for an RZ2, but 
Uh, Zam has also set up uh, some bombing rear arcs there. I assume he's just going to go off to the right. No mm -hmm. reason to actually fight Sefton here. And I think we're going to drop a bomb here for Zam. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thermal detonators continuing to threat. I'm yeah, kind of surprised. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Marcel hasn't conceded. <laughs> he might just be doing it, doing it for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do see he angrily threw away all his other cards, but he still got that Sefton out there. I think he just wants to shoot a bracket. False he transponder codes uh, setting up there. Uh, no, they already burnt him before. Oh, they're they're gone. Okay, cool. Five straight. We'll get a boost focus, or boost rotate, excuse me. You can barely roll rotate. Well, I, I like I like the boost because if uh, your your chance of get, killing a ship would be Django first, most likely. Just looking oh, at, sure. the, just at the cycle. Get away from him. Oh, look at this, Django, don't care. I'm just gonna go right onto the rock. Too far ahead in this game. Let's see if uh, maneuver so he won't hit it next turn. And he's gonna use Dooku to say blank on the roll. Yep. Oh, ooh, worked. Dooku is so good. Every dice roll you could use it on. We've seen it so far used on a rock, a bomb, offense and defense. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And uh, yesterday we also saw it on uh, on debris for crits. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a debris from crit. Oh. Yep. Uh, council fires as well. It's really nasty for council fires. All right, we got a shot here. Sefton, rear arc for one. Sam gets one. Let's see if that card says she gets a lock and a chargeback. Now, as we wait for our next turn, I want to remind you that this, uh, this quick. Death for Marcel, at least the first three ships brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Maybe, maybe his ships would have lived longer if they had acrylic arc indicators. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Use that coupon code Alpha2021 for 21% off. For the record, I did put colored indicators next to Marcel's side. Who knows? <laughs> they could have been the key to the whole game. I'm telling you. I'm telling yeah. you. Well, if this game does end early, uh, we'll have an opportunity to talk about it. How long does it go till uh, Monday? It goes till Monday. Um, we'll be able to talk a little bit about Paint Wars coming up here in the next month or so for any painters out there. Talk about the upcoming qualifiers. Do some meta breakdown as well. The Dead Baron, you you can use the code at District Foundry on Tuesday. I'm not sure about on Curled Paw. You'll have to try it to find out. Roll the dice. All right, we got Zam cutting back in with a boost, hard one boost. Sefton target lock out there. I don't know what it's doing. Jumping off the rock. <laughs> Boost it away. And Django. Kind of made the lock go back to the rock. Yeah. I <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, rear arc here. Three attack dice on three agility. We're going to go ahead and Dooku for the crit. Here's the roll, and yeah, changes the blank to a crit. Takes two. Shields down, and has to spend the focus. <laughs> These cards are a hot mess. Two haul and a dream for Marcel Manzano. Damn, 
We got range three with the target lock. Um, range three obstructed. You know, I feel like in the events where we've had Marcel on, uh, oh, could spends a lock. No, nope, just one. only one. There's a chance to live. Oh, enough. Back at Zam. Yeah, uh, Septon has now reached, I believe, uh, required total destruction. He's got to kill both of these fire spirits now mm -hmm. that he's been halved. I think this is proof that the red side of the table is not always a guaranteed win. You know, I, I think there was a shift in the moon. I think is really what happened. You know, mm -hmm. now you guys just noticed it, so we had to, <laughs> <laughs> we had to stop it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you called it out. We had to change it. We had to make sure that people didn't call call it rigged. You know, it's uh, it's an insur it's an insurance policy. We got to make that happen. Now, oh, uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I just remembered. Uh, I tried to bet uh, before you opened betting, and I was gonna bet it all on Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No problem. Now, one of the things that. Uh, you know, maybe we can actually have Marcel and um, and Sasha talk with us a little bit between it. But I'm curious. I I wonder if Marcel maybe didn't fully understand the potential of the list he was facing. I'm sure facing a two ship list at first, he was thinking he probably had a pretty good advantage. You, you mm -hmm. take uh you know two or three rockets into one ship, and you end up having a four on one game. May have been kind of the uh, the mentality or the goal for him. Uh, but caught off guard. Pretty early on, you lost a half. Uh, you know, t tough cookies there. It's so, it's so strange because I've literally seen Marcel fly this list against two fire sprays. So I don't, I don't understand. Uh, it's just old habits, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, we got obstructed shot here. Uses the force. It's going to be hit, mm -hmm. hit, crit. And that's all she wrote. That's it, yep. Wow. Woo! Those fire sprays just... They got mods for days. Uh, and uh, they were just shooting the entire game. Catching these A-Wings off guard. Jamming them. The jams were a key in two of those kills. Dion. Yeah. Oh, and, and Will. Just wondering... Why do fire sprays have three dice out the back? I've always the, wondered this. Because the Cause guns flip backwards. Yeah, it's the well, same. Gun. Yeah, but why isn't it a rotate? Like, you know what I mean? They were just well, they were designed before the this classic SF style. But I think you, I think you're onto something there. Like, what if they just completely retconned all fire sprays? And that would be crazy. But. And and on, honestly, the I don't know if uh, I we we can talk about Mandalorian spoilers, right? Yeah. Okay. So like in that one episode, he flips those guns back with ease, and so maybe it could just be like a kind of like the SF, like a linked rotate onto everything, so it's not that bad. Uh, I don't know. I think that might be a little more balanced for this chassis. Just you gotta take your action to rotate. Exactly. So it makes blocking rough, but it still makes slave one good. Yeah. yeah potentially. I, if I you mean, really stream that. Oh God. <laughs> what? Marcel, I, what? Well, what did you do? Oh, he just caught me off guard. I completely did not understand. Uh, basically, all the shenanigans that that he can do. That, and I think the other thing that messed me up was um, two choices with the A wing. Mm -hmm. uh, with easy. I was either going to do like that turn that he killed me. I was either going to do a three uh, bank to the right, which would have blocked him. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't. I, it was one of those things where if I do three blank to the right, he's just going to shoot past me and still do what he did. But, you know, just from the from the back. And then the other one was um, when I had. Um, like when I had Django right there and I put. Merle right in front of him and then